The hot stock today is Palantir. Let's grab it when the time is right. This is not financial advice and is for entertainment purposes only. Palantir is an artificial intelligence company that helps the government and corporations make wise decisions. Palantir was named after the crystal ball used in the Lord of the Rings by the wizard to spy on his enemies and predict the future. Palantir transforms its users into wizards who can see into a crystal ball, see the bad signs, see the trends, see the warnings, see the predictions, and they can use this information to send out a searchlight over Gotham City to alert Batman, who are the special forces and law enforcement and, and the good guys, uh, catch the bad guys and prevent disasters. So using data from the government and from large corporations, Palantir makes you like a wizard who can see into the future, spy on your enemies, and come up with the best wise decisions to compete with your rivals and to get the bad guys. Its Gotham application is used by government agencies like the CIA and the military and the special forces to help them decide how best to deal and find terrorists and enemies of the United States and law enforcement. It's thought that Palantir helped find Osama bin Laden, the ultimate bad guy. Palantir has never confirmed this, but they have never denied it either. What is amazing about this company is that they say they can take any massive amount of data and use their program to analyze it and come up with the best predictions to maximize and optimize uh, your resources and your deployment of what, what's available to you. They do not monetize uh, the data. All the data they collect is collected by the company or by the government itself. It's, it's not transferred, for instance, from one company to another. The software that most companies use makes them more similar to their competitors and rivals. What's unique about Palantir is that their goal is to make you different from your rivals. Uh, it makes it more specialized towards your needs. Uh, based on what they see in the data, they will gear solutions and predictions that coincide with your company's resources so that you can deploy them in your unique way and you don't have to be like every other person on the block. Here works a lot with law enforcement to monitor individuals who have frequent and significant interactions with the law, in other words, criminals, and they also monitor closely areas that are known to be uh, high crime areas to reduce crime in those areas. Palantir transforms digital data into real-world, wise, and human-guided decisions. Most corporations are like unassuming Clark Kents who suspect they have more talent and abilities than they've been able to express, but they haven't been able to reveal themselves because they haven't quite gotten it all together which Palantir will help them to do. Palantir gives them the predictions and knowledge of what is happening in their company so that they can go flying into the future like Superman. The Center for Disease Control has Palantir analyze its data to organize its response to the pandemic. The Veterans Administration uses Palantir to organize its care of veterans. Palantir is important to the National Institute of Health 
in indicating what possible avenues of research could be pursued. While 56% of its uh, contracts are with government agencies, their corporate business has been expanding a lot. Uh, they have worked with Airbus to improve their manufacturing uh, efficiency, uh, have worked with Fiat uh, Chrysler, and they have formed a partnership with IBM. Uh, we know IBM, uh, we would think, would be capable of exploring massive amounts of data themselves, but so they obviously would not be going into a partnership with Palantir, unless Palantir was providing something unique that uh, IBM has yet to, to discover. Their average customer pays large amounts of money. Their average yearly income from each customer is over $5 million. So the range of applications of this company's software is just amazing. It goes everywhere from predictive policing uh, to catching uh, terrorists, to developing uh, uh, drugs uh, for the pharmaceutical industry, uh, to helping uh, airlines uh, design their manufacturing process to be more efficient. The marketplace for Palantir looks uh, truly limitless, as they have shown they can de help airlines develop uh, aircraft more efficiently, that they can do predictive policing, that they can help catch Osama bin Laden. What can't they do? That, that is their claim, and, not, and a claim that's been shown by action, what they've been able to do. Uh, it's a secret how they do it. I don't think anybody else quite knows how to do it as well as they do it. And that's why it's a secret organization that works with other secret organizations to uncover secrets that will put your a corporation at a significant advantage and make the country significantly safer. Palantir not only analyzes your data, but it gives you good information on what data you need to collect. It gives you the information to collect the specific data needed to make the predictions you need to know to plan your future. Their average customer pays large amounts of money. Their average yearly income from each customer is over $5 million. And their customers stay with them for a long time. Uh, it's a very sticky business as their customers stay with them for over three years, at least. Palantir's business model is so successful that they have started to give uh, samples and uh, free trials of their uh, software. Uh, they're giving it free to new corporations because they know that once the corporations use it and they see the predictions that are made that are going to save uh, these corporations massive amounts of money, uh, that they will stick with Palantir and they will be a long-term customer that they can expand on. By using Palantir, uh, corporations enhance uh, their security, their computer security. Hackers are becoming a major problem. Uh, Microsoft and Colonial Pen's oil pipeline, uh, their risk of being hacked, again in Colonial Pen's case, is massive. So the range of applications of this company's software is just amazing. It goes everywhere from predictive policing, uh, to catching uh, terrorists, to developing uh, uh, drugs uh, for the pharmaceutical industry, uh, to helping uh, airlines uh, design their manufacturing process to be more efficient. Pa Palantir IPO'd in September of 2020, and their revenue growth for 2020 was 49%. There are three founders of Palantir. The CEO is Alex Karp. 
Alex Karp has a law degree from Stanford University and a doctorate from a university in Germany about aggression and jargon in in cultures. Peter Thiel was a classmate of Alex Karp's at Stanford, and he also helped co-found PayPal and Founders Fund. The third co-founder is Stephen Cohen, uh, who developed the prototype for Palantir in eight weeks. So he's a genius. I've seen convincing analyses of of Palantir that say that this uh, $41 billion company uh, is more correctly valued at $80 billion. The stock has varied from $17 to $36 during 2021 as we look at the chart. And right now it's around $21 or $22. Uh, I I would say the stock is a buy below $25. Uh, It's a good buy below uh, $20. And it's a screaming buy below $15. Uh, We may get a pullback here because... Uh, the the volume on the market has gone down, which uh, makes me wonder about the Delta variant, whether we're going to have a pullback uh, because of that. Significant holders of this stock include Kathy Wood of ARK Investments, and I would be very hesitant to bet against uh, Kathy Wood. I was also surprised to see that Vanguard Group owns over half a billion of this stock. So they obviously think this stock has very good long-term probabilities of success also. I think this is a a hot stock because of what they are trying to do and because it can be applied to to limitless things. And they seem to be the only ones uh, doing it really well. So I think they have limitless Uh, possibilities and the sky's the limit but it is something to buy on a pullback Uh, right now the problem is uh, uh, employee stock compensation Uh, they have diluted the stock a lot uh, with uh, stocks uh, given to employees to improve their motivation and to keep them involved and engaged with the company which is necessary for a new company I think this will be um, uh, less of a significant factor as we go forward, as the the revenues have always increased, are constantly increasing, but it's that they have these massive expansive, uh, uh, which are due mainly to uh, employee compensation by stocks. I am bullish for Palantir's uh, future stock price. Uh, I believe the analysts that are valuing it to anywhere between 100 to $500 in the future are correct, simply because there's unlimited applications to this data. I've never heard of a company saying, we can take any set of data, analyze it, and give you predictions and solutions for your situation. So on this talk, I'm waiting for a pullback, and I'll grab it when it starts to explode.